Hey everybody, welcome to Castle Hives. Brian here. We're in the apiary, sitting between two of the hives that I have a special treat for everyone that's gonna watch this video. All right, so welcome everybody. Now, the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna get into the bees this video. Sorry about that. But what I wanna show you is this right here. I have a Govee sensor, um, and what I'm doing with these sensors over the winter, I'm gonna have one in Buckingham, so this will be Hive B. Ah, we gotta go over to Hive A, that's Main Castle. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, typically I would wrap my hives with a foam. I was thinking about not doing it, but I'm gonna stick with my foam. So I'm gonna wrap one hive with foam, have the sensor in there, and what this sensor shows me, and they're very small sensors. Let me see if I can open up the package. Uh, you can see here, okay, it's just a small little sensor, okay? And what this sensor will tell me is the temperature and humidity inside the hive. Now, middle of the winter, it's 10 degrees out, I can look at the app on my phone and see the temperature right in there inside that hive. So I'll know, according to the temperatures, well, that hive's doing okay. If I see it start to taper down, then I'll know, well, there might be some issues going on. So, but what I plan on doing is this. I have a sensor already in this hive and this hive, okay? Um, this main castle will be hive A. Buckingham will be hive B. The poly hive behind me is going to be hive C. And then I'm going to also put one of the Govi sensors in one of the horizontal hives. And it'll probably be my hive and that'll be hive D. And what I'm gonna do is once a month, we're gonna look at all of the data of all of these hives. Because what I can do on my phone through the app is I can export this data. So I'm gonna be able to compare how does a Langstroth hive that is unwrapped perform against one that is wrapped? How does the poly hive perform? How does, you know, the Lang, or the, not the Langstroth, we already talked about that. How's the uh, horizontal hive do? So I wanna look at all this data. Now, if I see that the hive that is not wrapped is, you know, having issues as far as maintaining, I'm gonna wrap it and then we'll be able to compare, well, compared to the last month or however long where we saw those dips and the peaks, we can see maybe how that normalized and it helped out the girls inside of that colony. Um, also, what I'm gonna do is, you know, and this is just all dependent on the weather, um, I have a scope. It's a Depstech DX or DS450, and I'll put links for all this stuff down in the description. So throughout the winter, while we're looking at the temperatures, I also am gonna be able to take my scope and run it right into that top uh, entrance and fish that in there and show you all how the girls are doing. So we'll see them crawling around in there. So a lot gonna happen over this winter here. I'm super excited to share this with everyone watching. Um, can't say enough. I mean, that's technology and everybody knows I like my gadgets. So hopefully you all are going to enjoy this. Um, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe down there. That way when, you know, I throw these videos out, you get notified. Hey, Brian put out that other video. Uh, you know, let's see what the temps are doing. Let's see how his hives are doing. Um, you know, like the video also, that really helps out. So really looking forward to this. This idea just popped into my head and I thought, you know, I gotta share this with everybody. So, um, if you all have questions, you know, throw those down in the comments. But again, like I said, I'll put the link to these Govi temperature and humidity sensors down in the descriptions. I'll also put a link to my Depstech uh, scope. Um, and look forward, I'll write up everything and we'll have a Hive A, Hive B, Hive C and Hive D, and let's see how all of these hives perform this winter. So everybody take care, thanks for watching, and until the next one.